y'all it's i heard page welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel if you're new definitely don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button hit the bell so you won't miss out on any of these notifications and if you're og welcome back i heart fam let's get this started okay then y'all so today i am doing a bit of a different type of video on my channel i've actually only done this type of video one other time literally y'all one other time actually in my whole life so this is definitely me stepping out of my comfort zone so yes y'all i am bringing it this year like content wise um stepping out of my comfort zone with stuff so either way let me go ahead and get started if i ravel on y'all a company ended up hitting me up about doing a review or an install and i chose to do an install with this unit y'all yes it's a wig so this is the wig that they sent me at that y'all a box braid wig yes your girl is gonna install it okay so what can i where do i start first of all i started off by washing it um it has directions on the back somewhere y'all has little instructions basically telling you what to do as far as washing it and everything cleansing it all i did was um i have a habit of using apple cider vinegar so i use apple cider vinegar warm to cool water i let it sit i rinsed it towel blotted it hung it up to dry and it's ready y'all smells good doesn't smell like apple cider vinegar or nothing y'all because i know some people might have a concern about that but if you rinse it well it's not going to smell like apple cider vinegar this feels so good the quality is amazing y'all it feels really like real box braids and you can tell it even looks like it there's like barely any flyaways the color is amazing i love the color everything it's giving skin y'all can see my hand and arm literally right now as the scab so if i can install this good y'all this could definitely turn out well for me and this could be a staple for me this spring and summer because who do you want to spend all those hours doing a style like this y'all this is 36 inches 36 inches y'all like you feel me as well is a full lace it has two of the front combs it has one in the back it also has the elastic band to strap has little baby hairs going on little cute baby hairs there's a, they're actually really cute i don't know if y'all can see them but it's already uh pre-plucked has the baby hairs going on <laughs> so this is this is gonna be funny trying to see how this is gonna turn out for me y'all so y'all are here to watch this and we're about to get it started also they sent me four a total of four wig caps each bag has two they also sent me some little charms to put on the um, braids and as well y'all they sent me some eyelashes i have never worn eyelashes fake eyelashes my whole life y'all but they ended up sending me some i'm actually anxious to do a video of my first time applying eyelashes if y'all would like to see that comment that below so y'all this is day two yes this is day two of me trying again with applying this wig um right here i'm just eating my greek yogurt y'all this thing gives you 12 grams of protein also it is so good y'all but okay either way i had to come back and do this the second day because i got so frustrated the first day i tried to do this and i ended up leaving um yeah i posted a post up telling y'all that this video was supposed to be last week and i just couldn't do it um i had the concept but it was just certain little things i was missing out on doing like basically what i'm doing right now is one of the things i messed up on i didn't put enough spray i basically was focusing on just putting it on my forehead and i didn't put it actually on the wig cap where my hair is and it was coming up and i cut it too far back and another thing was i cut it in the wrong spot yeah y'all i did it perfect this time needless to say because the first time i had so much going on with the wig cap to the point where i took the whole wig cap off and then there was just a whole disaster y'all and i still tried to do it but yeah it did not work out another thing i did wrong was cutting in the wrong time and i know that sounds crazy but if you've never did a lace front 
this is the best method. And I've learned that from watching videos, y'all. You want to cut the ears first. Um, You definitely want to. Do not start by cutting in the forehead or cutting off your hairline. I did that with my first time. And like I said, it unraveled on me. The sides were coming up and everything. It's best to start by the ears because if you notice it's starting to come up, you can go ahead and catch it and pin it back down. And you're going to see me doing that in a little bit. See, a part was coming up and I caught it. Perfect timing. Got it back down, y'all. And now I'm just going in, of course, with alcohol because I've heard about it. You just want to clean up your forehead so when you do get ready to glue it down. And now I'm going in with just a little foundation to basically make it more look realistic and what they call it the melt you want to melt it honey <laughs> so yes y'all i'm definitely going in with some foundation to just do the melt and basically now i look bald is the point <laughs> and now i'm going in with some got to be glue gel and just putting that where i'm going to glue or want the wig to be glued at and place that i wish i had went a little bit farther back because my hairline is a little bit farther back so i felt like this wig was sitting too far on my forehead but y'all the results was definitely worth it okay y'all so here is the finished look I mean, for a first time doing a lace front, I definitely think I did a great job. Um, once again, y'all, this is my first time, so I'm not an expert. I actually just ended up watching a few videos, and I definitely found a lot of videos on here that were helpful. A couple stood out more than others, but definitely it was good that I found some helpful videos. I'm going to actually just go in a little bit some makeup right here though y'all because i'm trying to show that you can wear it in a middle part as well i'm not really a fan of middle part if you've been watching my channel you already know that but i'm just gonna show y'all that you can wear it in a middle part but i was going for more of a side part this is the part that i had originally and I just want to show y'all that it can be worn in the middle part. It can be worn in a side part. Definitely, um, once again, the quality is good. I did what I could with the baby hair, y'all. Most of the pieces I chopped off because I just, I'm not big on the baby hair, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm not. But for the most part, I mean, this is good to just wear if you're not wanting to spend you know, five, six hours doing some braids like this, probably even longer because these are 36 inches. So you're definitely probably going to spend more than five to six hours doing a style this length. But I like it. I really do. The end results definitely turned out better than I expected, y'all, because my first day, your girl was going through it. I threw the whole wig, just sorry. Y'all, I'm sorry the company that's hearing this, but I was mad, y'all. I threw the whole wig in this drawer right here and I was over it. I was like, I'm not doing it. I got frustrated and everything. And I can say applying the ball cap the right way is the biggest mistake I messed up in my first time. When I cut the ball cap and messed it up, I got mad and I took off the whole ball cap basically and just had it pulled back. And I was like, I don't really need a ball cap yes you do it comes in handy that's why they send the caps and definitely i see that's very important when applying a lace front the ball cap method and so today i think i mastered it y'all with the ball cap today my mistake was that my hair in the back is too thick i did it in one big braid and honestly it's just too thick so i wouldn't wear this out in public nowhere um, if I was going to wear it out in public, I would braid my hair down or I would uh, tw um, tw twist my hair back or something or do it smaller, you know, where my foundation would be smaller rather than right now it's just bumped out back there. Y and as well that made like my wig in the back, it's like protruding out and I know y'all can't see it but it's not able to lay flat because of that bump back there. But other than that, I can definitely say that the wig is great quality. It's braided well, like really no flyaways. 
Um, the plus was it came with the little lock jewelry as well, some lashes, but you know, I already told y'all, if y'all want to see me do a video of why my first time wearing lashes, put that in the comment, put that down there and I'll definitely do a video like that. So if you want to wear it up, you can, if you want to pull it back or anything, you don't got to worry about, you know, just long if you do the cap underneath, it's going to look like scap. It's going to look like scap. See? Everywhere through here, it looks like scap, y'all. So, that is pretty much it. So, um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. As usual, to be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, share, share some love to this company. If you're interested, once again, check out the description box. I have all the information down there so y'all can go grab you one. They do come in different colors. I just chose this color, but they do come in different colors, like 1B and, you know, brown and all the other colors. I think they even have a blonde one, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. Till next time, y'all be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, share. Sharing is always scary. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.